Oh, holy crap. Oh, my gosh. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo! Maybe Flo! <laughs> she wins the world championship. And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. Fallon Taylor will win. She's riding an amazing horse out of Baby Flo. One of her babies for Baby Flo. For love to the Flo. Flo! Hush, buddy! Hush, buddy! What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. Listen, Cody is still here. I just filmed a vlog a lot on my phone this week. So I filmed a lot of behind the scenes this week going to the breeding farm and showing you guys exactly how the embryo process works. I'm excited for you guys to see all the jackpots we went to and to see Golo's very first jackpot performance. So she wasn't entered, she was exhibitioned, but still it was super exciting. Let's get right into it. Well, this is a little emotional. Golo and I are on our way to her first jackpot. Like, where does the time go? If you guys remember, my mom passed away on February 10th, 2020. And Golo was born, I believe, on February 4th. And she asked to go home to see her um, right after she was born so that she could name her. And now she's old enough to go to a jackpot. And that just, like, shows you that grief is such a weird thing. And I've been corrected so many times by so many encouraging people that it doesn't get easier. You just get stronger. And I have to tell you, while there's a part of me that could burst completely into tears and recount every single piece of the pain of losing my mom so suddenly, another piece of me is so proud that I have learned through various steps to get stronger and stronger and just do her justice. <laughs> I think she wants to go. Do her justice by doing a really great job, especially on this young filly that she thought so much of. So let's go to our first jackpot. I have Pharaoh and Strut loaded right in front of her. So I'm excited for all the rumors that think that Strut is Pharaoh and Pharaoh is Strut. So thank goodness that even though they're the same size and have the same marking, Strut has two different brands <sighs> because here comes the, uh, you ran the same horse, blah, blah, blah. Also, I tried out my um, Cody Harmon tutorial hat bun thing. She's kind of cute. She's kind of a moment. So, all right, let's grab Mojo for Cody. She's on her way over and then we'll head to the jackpot. Alex is watching the little boy in the truck. They're driving right behind me. Again, this is why Mojo is never for sale. He has so many quirks. He kicks the wall. He's a fuss to haul, but he wins a check for her almost every time. He poops in a corner, he runs barefoot in a no-ring snaffle. Like, he's irreplaceable. And he knows it. We are coming down to the time when I need to get Jerry and Roman legged up and start hauling them some places. There goes my neighbor, Karen. She's super dope. Um, we see her at the vet every single morning. Wait, that's not Karen. And look, there's Cody in what we call the bubblegum car. Cody. What are those? Okay, so far so good because here comes the tractor. Kelsey did do a really, really, really jam up job on this filly. So I'm not worried about how she's broke. I'm worried about, you know, my son jumping over this fence over here that he's kind of leaning on with his dad and as I'm going to the barrel. That's what I'm worried about. Things like that. I'm like an old, old mom teaching her teenager to drive. Like, it's not you I'm worried about. It's all the other drivers. Okay, the exhibition on Golo was incredible. It was better than I could have ever imagined. Um, I went three times at a, like a trot and a walk, at a little trot and a lope, and then a fully lope through pattern. Um, my camera crew is also my babysitting crew and they were busy and overwhelmed by the cuteness of the little boy brand. So they didn't get my first barrel, but check out my exhibition right here.
Okay, now it is time for my open run on Pharaoh. He is an own son of Filthy Fast and French, the stallion that they used to have way back, who is now gilding, and his mom is Nephi, who I ran at the NFR, that's a full sister to Baby Flo. He's had just a handful of runs and has just been doing phenomenal, but he's huge. Like, I don't know if you can get, you definitely can't, but he's for sure like every bit of 16 too. Um, he's a big boy. So I'm having to learn to adjust to that. And as I've been running him, my friend Lala, my other friend, John have been playing with him just like very sporadically every once in a while. And low key have trained the crap out of this horse. He was a trained barrel horse, but they just got on and would enjoy him and then kick him back out in the pasture. And that has really been the jam for him. That's like mentally what he really needed. He, um, matured a lot, just getting that like spots of training. And now I just threw him in the trailer and I'm going to start hauling him and getting him ready for either his next home or the rodeo road. So if he sells before he goes to rodeos, that's great. If he goes on the rodeo road, that's great too. All right, Pharaoh felt incredible like so incredible i was leading when i left the race i don't know how i am now um hopefully i stay in the 1d also hopefully cody outruns me hard so you know there's that um mojo loves this pin and cody rides really 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 great in this setup so um we're anticipating getting our butts kicked and like excited about it also i am on his twin which is strut and if you guys have been following along strut has been doing remarkably well and um just like any fraternity colt, some days the windshield, some days the bug. So I'm hoping today I'm the windshield and we do really well. But every single time that you go down the alleyway, you can you can help your horse gain momentum, gain confidence, gain all of those things. You can also hurt them. So it's really, really important that you've got your brain focused on no matter what, if this is 1% better than it was yesterday, I'm gonna call it a win and not get my emotions all over my animal and instead just say, that was really good. We're gonna go to the next one. So here's to me praying for that 1%. Okay, Strut did, well, hey, Strut did incredible. Um, he has been just really, really, really starting to fire and super excited. He ran a 15.8 with an imperfect run, so we're super excited. And Cody made a run. Here's her run right here. Cody is just absolutely killing it. She ran a 15.4 in one of the saltiest barrel races we've been in in North Texas. Also, if you wondered why the tactical halters have this, it's because when you carry a baby with you in a stall, <laughs> that's how you want to take the halter off, in case you wondered. Also, restocking next month, so very excited for that. Also, the essentials collection, if you guys haven't seen, um, we have some, like, barn leisure I don't know what we'd call it, but it is amazing, like joggers and sweatshirts and like Lulu for the barn, basically. It has been incredible. You guys basically sold us out of tanks and our sleek jackets and all sorts of other things. So we're really excited to bring you guys that collection in our spring colors, which will be coming really soon. This is my dream horse. This is Slickerita. Um, we have knickknack here in the barn. Everybody is enjoying a really beautiful spring night. So everybody's outside in their runs. So nobody to say hi to this evening. Brand is asleep and Alex just went and threw him in. And I, oh, the queen is here. The queen is currently in full to the goodbye lane. So we are beyond excited.
for that. Hi, Mama. Hi, sweet lady. You come here. You want to come here and say hi? Say hi, Flomies. Say hi, Flomies. Thank you for my whole life, lady. All right, until the next barrel race, I'll see you guys in a little while. Brand and Alex and I have been busy at the breeding farm. So we have smoke show in full to jail dash heaven. We have hush money as of this morning, currently pregnant to tea wagon. We successfully flushed an embryo out of low, low, low to the flow, um, and tea wagon and successfully flushed the Cody. What am I missing? Nephi to JL dash to heaven. So it has been a successful, very busy, painstaking week. I've kind of guesstimated and I can go into more in a vlog for you guys that it takes about 15 grand to get a high end baby on the ground. Like day one, 15 grand, that's just cost of goods. So, so if you guys have been shopping the merch, by the way, this is the team. Um, we did a thing and I accidentally did a thing and said, okay, I'm going to clean out my closet and I'm going to sign some stuff. And then I'm even going to give away one of my saddles out of my tack room and a lot of stuff out of my tack room. It did big things. So thank you to everyone that participated in that. And two, um, y'all have helped me clean so much because we are cleaning everywhere and, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I am ashamed to say that I had over 400 items that I was able to get out of my closet and my tack room and some stuff that I forgot was there that I kept for myself because that's just how people do. So anyway, thank you guys for participating in that. Um, hopefully it'll be a little while before I accumulate this much stuff again for another closet clean out. But I just want to say quick thank you. Congrats. The saddle is going to an order from Tennessee. So I hope that you super enjoy it. Her name is Kate, by the way. Um, so I hope that you enjoy your new saddle. It came out of my barn. It's got a little bit of good luck dirt on it. So anyway, you guys, uh, thanks again because ranch dressing is the heart, of soul of, heart and soul of everything that we do. And um, you guys helped it. You built it. So thank you. Do you see us up there? I was screen mirroring my workout to the TV. Anyway, we are on day 24. 24 of 75 hard. I had a super bad migraine all day long, and today was the day I was going to quit and not actually work out. And then Alex drug me out here, which is what a partner is supposed to do. Be super supportive and then like pull you up by your bootstraps. He was like, even if you just do a light workout. And, and then I'm lifting super heavy and it, I feel good. Not turned great. Turned on the sauna. Yeah. And, and we, I filled the ice bath. Yeah, so it's like... And we have to do hot to cold. He's got all the things, so we're going to do hot, cold, hot, cold tonight. Um, the sauna has been baller. Let me show you the sauna. So this is the brand wagon. Alex's fun toy. Um, but, and this is brand's ride right here. He's got a baller set up. Trailer balls toys. Yeah, super baller set up. Anyway, here's the sauna. And it seats three people and gets up to 150 degrees. So we just, it's warming up while we finish our workout. I'm not quite done, but I decided to stop and just tell you guys what we're doing because TikTok's seen it, Instagram's seen it, but YouTube hasn't. So also tomorrow we just got, we get texted every single night about what time to go to the vet the next morning during breeding season. So this is going to go on through the end of June. Um, and the text was baby flow is a flush. She's in full to the goodbye lane and she has a flush tomorrow morning at 7.30, which means we need to be up and pop in by six. And right now it's like 10 something. Uh, I don't know, 9.59. .59. So I'm gonna knock the rest of this workout out and then take you guys to the bed. 7.03 AM, me and the queen are headed to the breeding farm. So she is in full to the goodbye lane right now. And today makes eight days since she was bred. So what you're hoping for is an embryo that is a grade one that looks like a seven day flush. And that's a lot of jargon for, we want a big, healthy, round embryo. Hopefully I can take a video of it, but it's really hard to see under the microscope. So I have to line my camera up just right, but I will try. So the first step is it's gonna run through 
fluids out of her and into a little cup and I'm pretty good at seeing them. It looks like a contact lens, but also there's bubbles that you have to differentiate the world champion <laughs> from a bubble. And so we'll start there. So let's get, get to the vet. <laughs> All right, Baby Flo's got a hell of a soundtrack playing this morning, but she's ready. And um, once she gets flushed, I'll show you that process. And then we can look under this microscope to see um, the embryo and then the embryo embryo gets shipped over to Brazos Valley equine where they will put it in a recip mare and then they have a really cool system where they like email me the checks like seven days 30 days and at 45 days I get to pick up the recip mare and add her to my broodmare band I will give her back to the farm when the baby is weaned about in August of next year also interesting about the embryo is that there's a courier service that will come this chick's just she's thirst trapping trying to get in the vlog there is a courier that will come grab the embryo then it'll be um in a cooled container and then put into someone's vehicle and then they will like their whole job is to safely get it to weatherford in a really timely manner and weatherford will weatherford will have been alerted that we are on our way and so they'll have a mare prepped and ready to go and then the embryo will be transferred typically really um, in my experience, the transfer of the embryo is the easiest part. The getting the mare pregnant, um, having the embryo successfully flushed, that's the hardest part. But typically for us, getting the embryo to live in the next mare has not been, not been a big problem. Okay, what's the technical term of this thing? The cup. Okay. Flush yeah. Okay, the flush Flush filter. filter here. Yeah. So, yeah. All of our stuff that's not an embryo will come out there into the bucket. Yeah. And then this is in baby flow. It's, yeah. I'm respecting her privacy by not showing her cooch. You can see it with your naked eye, kind of, sort of. Also celebrity sighting. But you can see it with your naked eye, kind of, sort of, if it's big enough. So maybe we can see it today. Okay, now the saline's flowing. Right, saline. And then... It's easiest to catch out of the pipe. See how they all look like little bubbles? Seeing the one that is the actual embryo is like a whole, like, expert level thing. But I'm just gonna video the whole thing even though I won't use it because if I, I so if badly wanna out, catch it, yeah. yeah. I think it's right there. I think we got one right there. And brand is present for every single one of them. That one fooled me. I did not, did not get that right. Okay, let's try again. I see it. Brandon and Alex are walking around um, down the aisles, the other aisle. So now what happens is the, the embryo or what we think is an embryo goes under that microscope and then we just pray to God. The Dr. Pat gives us a thumbs up. That was not it. That was not the embryo. So I am caring less. I'm walking out and I don't even care if we get an embryo. Don't even care. Yeah, you do. Don't even, not even really, really wanting this one. this one. Okay. You gotta somehow differentiate between the bubbles and the embryo. Get in there. Yeah. Okay, this embryo is super tiny and it came out to the Beastie Boys. And Dr. Pat says, I'm gonna have to, okay, which side do I look in? Look in the right, and you need okay. to focus, probably change it. Oh, holy crap. It? Oh my gosh. What grade is that? It's a grade one, but it's okay. just like a six day size. Okay, let me see if I can get you guys to see it. This is, it's impossible. It is in there, okay. Oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, thank you, mama. Thank you, mama. All right, we just got to work and um, this is the samples collection that we are passionately working on. So many things that I think you guys are gonna love that are just the cutest. Um, so many things, they're, they're way down the road. It takes a long time 
to get things done. Um, but so many really, really amazing things are coming down the pipe and we work night and day on this. This is the reflective shirt. I don't know if you guys have seen this on my TikTok, but it's super amazing and I'm super excited for this to launch sometime soon. So stay tuned because really cool stuff is coming soon. It is time for me to go into my office and knock out some stuff. By the way, if I didn't have this, I think every person in our office has one and we would be like lost without it. Another day, another trip to the breeding farm. Also shout out to Ranch Dressin for these new essential vests and caps. They just, um, these just came back in stock and these are coming really soon. So you guys are gonna have to check it out. It was 90 degrees this week and now it is 40. So, you know, that's just how North Texas goes. Good morning, everybody. So this morning, the flush that we're gonna try to get and you guys know how <laughs> intense these are now that they just like, it doesn't just happen, um, but it is smoke show. She is in full right now to jail dash to heaven. And now we just very, very much cross our fingers that the little tiny dot gets in the cup this morning. Hi lady. Hi lady. Okay, you are a mess. You guys are a mess. What happened? Was there first a poop party and then a roll party? Oh my gosh, okay. So my goal with the breeding program is to actually sell more weanlings and yearlings. But the way that the math maths, the stud fee for the, just to get her to this point was $7,000. The recip process, so to put this embryo in a recipient mare is $4,000. The cost of um, doing all the stuff and things, not super high um, as far as the bet work to get us to this point, but you can bet by the time we're done feeding and caring for the recipient mare and all of those things that it's going to be about $15,000 to get the baby on the ground. So the foals are going to start at at least twenty dollars to $25,000 just to make it make sense. So when you see a breeder that has their horses paid up into incentives, which is another $1,000, you see like we have taken on... Um, we are now a diamond classic incentive barn, which means that that's another $10,000 a year or our stallion is enrolled in $40,000 a year of incentives. A lot of thought went into the babies that are born. I think um, it was last year that I had this like weird troll lady on my account um, that was just like constantly like adopt, don't shop kind of, kind of vibes not understanding that these horses are not, um, you're never gonna see these horses at a slaughter or, it, I mean, this is like, this is some elite stuff. This is not, you wouldn't ever under any circumstances put a horse like this into that situation. Um, so people are super uneducated at, uh, as far as the breeding process goes. There's a lot of people that shouldn't be breeding horses and then there's a lot of people, the majority of our industry, it's taking a lot of care and carefully selecting pedigree to make sure that the industry is enriched with horses that make it better. And so that's what I'm contributing. That is my dynasty, if you will. Day 967 at the breeding farm and the team is back here with Smoke Show and they're prepping her to flush. And then we'll take a look inside that little cup and see if the embryo actually gets in there. Here's the bucket. And we're just hoping to see the floater, which I think you might have. Did you see it or no? You haven't looked? It's... Okay, so yesterday's baby flow was stuck like in the filter thing in here. And so thank God Dr. Pat flushed it out. But typically they do a little whirly woo up there and then they land on the bottom. And I, I think we can see it. There's no, there's just no way it happened that fast. Right there, doesn't that look like it? Where? Where am I at? This is why I'm not the vet. Because I already lost it. You can see it? Right okay. It's right there. You see it? Yep, right there. I see it. Holy Moses. Okay, successful flush number seven. It is. It's right on the line. Yeah, right. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this journey through our very important week here and all the special things that happen along the way. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe and ding that notification bell. And as always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time. I came from a non-horse background and wanted to be a professional barrel racer. Now I'm excited to say I am a world champion, but it was a long road to get here and I learned a ton of lessons. I got swindled, taken, had mentors lead me wrong, and now I want to make something so that you don't have to. 30 plus years of experience have been put in my horse boss's dashboard for hours and hours of lessons in specific categories like hitting barrels, alley issues, when to enter, training your horse, and many, many more. Please join us today. You will not regret it.